Hello friends, uh, this is uh, Anand Harsh from Jodhpur. Once again I am with you on a new video lecture on Oracle 10 GB6. In past video lecture, we consider the PLSQL block of code and its uh, meaning in their parts. Today, we consider the PLSQL character set. First of all, I clear the term character set. The character set means uh, whatever can be uh, represented by a language or tool is called character set. So in PLSQL, uh, before going to uh, make any programs, we have to discuss the character sets. So character sets are uh, of uh, three types uh, that is uh, alphabets, numbers and symbols. In many books, you can uh, you will find four types: alphabets, uppercase, alphabets, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. That is uh, the uh, point of uh, uh, view how you can represent them. Uh, so I represent them in three types: alphabets, numbers, and symbols. You can see here uh, there are alphabets uh, that is uh, from capital A to capital Z in uppercase, and you can also represent. Uh, the alphabets in lower case from small a to z. You can represent the character set as a numbers from 0 to 9 and their combinations. You can also represent special, special symbols like uh, uh, brackets, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division symbols, uh, less than sign, greater than sign, equals to exclamation mark, uh, semicolon, column, period symbol, at the rate, etc. There are many more things you can represent in PLSQL block of code. So these are the character sets. Now we move on to the uh, uh, special note about the PLSQL block of code. That means uh, words which are used in PLSQL block are called lexical units. And blank space can be uh, used between lexical units. This have no effect on the PLSQL block. So uh, you need not to worry uh, about the space, uh, multiple uh, spaces uh, used between the, these lexical units. Uh, you need not to worry and uh, free, uh, free from uh, any kind of worry, you uh, write, just write your programs. So uh, this is a very important note, you must have to uh, keep in uh, your mind when you are programming uh, in using a PLSQL block of code. So. Um, from this video lecture, I must say that you uh, note, note down this uh, note and uh, used in the upcoming video lectures also. Now we move on to the uh, term uh, literals. Literals is a numeric or character string used to represent itself. It is uh, of three types, and numeric literals and string or character literals and logical literals. So first of all we uh, uh, work on or consider the numerical literals. So it can be represented using integer numbers and plotting point numbers. Integer numbers are represented like uh, you can see here 2, 6 and 124 are uh, integer literals. So these are a part of uh, numerical literals and uh, where the <coughs> question uh, of plotting point representation, uh, they can be re uh, represented using the period symbol. So the integer part is uh, 23 and the 4-5 four, four, is the uh, floating point part and that is uh, separated by a period symbol. So 23.45 is a floating point numerical literals. Uh, you can also represent the numbers using their uh, signs like uh, positive 17, minus 17, etc. You can also represent the numbers in exponential form like uh, 23 exponential minus 3. So uh, these are the numerical literals you can represent in Oracle uh, using the PLSQL block of code. Uh, now uh, move on to the string literals. Uh, uh, you can <coughs> Classify them into two character, uh, two classifications like uh, string literals and character literals. I combine them in a single category: string literals and character literals. So, 
uh, if you are combining characters multiple characters uh, this is called string literals and if you are representing only a single character then it will be uh, a character uh, literal so uh, you can see two examples are here given to you uh, one is the hello world it is a string literal and it is enclosed within uh, with, uh, in, it is enclosed within um, uh, uh, single quotes so uh, this is string literal and uh, single a and single asterisk mark are also uh, enclosed within a single quote mark but it is uh, these are character literals so uh, now we are moving uh, to the logical literals that is the third part of literals we can represent in PLSQL block of code uh, these are predetermined constants the values can be assigned to the data type are true false and null so uh, today in this uh, video lecture we consider these topics uh, first of all the character sets these are of uh, three types alphabets from upper to lower case uh, from small a to uh, small z and from capital a to capital z also there are numbers there are special symbols and we also consider that uh, the lexical units that are words used in PLS2 blocks and there is no effect of any kind of space between them so you need not to worry about the space uh, while you are programming in PLS school block and now uh, uh, then we move on to the literals and the types of their uh, types uh, that is the uh, numerical literals string literals character literals and logical literals so I hope you uh, understand this uh, video lecture and uh, uh, that uh, would be helpful to you in the upcoming video lectures when you are uh, uh, when you are using the PLS school block of code for your programs um, thank you. Be with me. Uh, please subscribe and like my video. And uh, uh, if any, if you find any uh, query related to this video or uh, the previous ones, you can write to me. Uh, the email address is provided provided in the description section. Uh, thank you.